Discovering morning, discovering sun, discovering there's room for everyone. Discovering horses and giraffes too. Discovering me and discovering you. We're little people with great big plans. Little people, we've got helping hands. Little people, we come from one to ten. Little people, and we'll always be friends. Discovering Michael and his friend Maggie. Discovering Lion and Sonja Lee. Discovering Sarah and her twin Eddie. Discovering you and discovering me. Discovering you and discovering me. Discovering Sarah, who loves to be singing and dancing gracefully. Discovering Sarah and you and me. The Great Indoors. Sarah Lynn loves camping at her favorite spot in the forest. The birds in the trees and the leaves rustling in the breeze are like music that sings her to sleep. But when she's at home, things are very different. Uh, what's the matter, Sarah Lynn? I can't sleep. I miss the sound of birds in the trees and leaves rustling in the breeze. I wish I could have a forest right here in our room. So, we'll just get one for ya, would you? Hmm. Oh, but could you? Nothing's impossible for your twin brother. <laughs> and his faithful frog, Freddy. <laughs> Thanks, Lefty. Great job. like camping at my favorite spot in the forest. <sighs> the birds in the trees and the leaves rustling in the breeze. Well, they're just like music. Oh, no. Who took the forest? Huh? Tire tracks. Hmm. That's funny. Those tire tracks stop right here. Hello? Hi, Sarah Lynn. Uh, this is Farmer Jed. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a forest in there, would you? I'm sorry, Farmer Jed. We're putting everything back like it was. Thanks, Sarah Lynn. You see, if you take home a piece of nature, someone else won't be able to enjoy it. We understand, Farmer Jed. Come on, Eddie. I'd better go home and try to get to sleep. Poor Sarah Lynn. I wish there was a way to take the outdoors home without ruining it for everyone else. There is, Eddie. Did you do it? It was Farmer 
for Jed's idea. I just took pictures and made a recording. Oh, thank you, Eddie. This is oh, wonderful. Sarah Lynn and Eddie learned that remembering nature with pictures and recordings is the best way to take it home and still leave it for others to enjoy. Discovering Sonia, who's gentle and true. She's kind to people and animals too. Discovering Sonia and me and you. The litter bug. Sonia Lee and Lucky have just finished having a picnic in the park. But before they go, there's something Sonia Lee is going to do. Mmm, that sure was a good lunch. What's that, Lucky? Oh, sure we can play fetch the ball. But first we need to clean up our litter. We clean up our litter because when someone else comes for a picnic, everything will be as nice for them as it was for us. We take it to a trash can and put it in. Very good, Lucky. Uh-oh. How can we get it all the way up there? What is it, Lucky? Oh, my, what a mess! Who could have done this? I should have known. Excuse me. Huh? But don't you know what you're supposed to do with these? <laughs> You don't play with them. No, you don't use them to dress up for Halloween. You put litter in the trash can. Otherwise, you're a litter bug. <laughs> You're right. It is fun. trash can. Ah, <laughs> there isn't any more litter to pick up. <laughs> What's that, Lucky? Aha! <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> this is great! Everything's so neat and pretty! The monkey picked up all the litter in the park all by himself! Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> well, in that case, have a banana! <laughs> Ah. 
Sonia Lee helped the monkey learn that leaving the park neat and clean is a wonderful way to be nice to the environment and to people, too. Discovering Eddie and Freddie, too. They believe there's nothing that they can't do. Discovering Eddie and me and you. Every little drop. It's a hot summer day and everyone is running out of water. There isn't enough water to fill the pond. There isn't enough water for Farmer Jed's corn. And there isn't enough water for Zookeeper Zack's seal. Where the water is gone, no one knows. Phew! Hottest day of the year, wouldn't you say, Clanky? <laughs> what I wouldn't give to tap my toes in a nice, cool stream of... Uh, water? Wait! That water's going to waste! Come on, Clanky, we'd better see if somebody left the faucet running. Mm -hmm. That's quite a bit of water you have there. On a hot day like this, it's great for keeping cool. Say, uh, where'd you get all this water? Oh, it comes out of the faucet. All you have to do is turn it on, and you get all the water you need. See? Did you ever wonder where the water comes from? Well, it comes from, um, from, I guess I never thought of it before. Where does it come from? Well, let's take a ride with Clanky and find out. Mm -hmm. In Discovery City, our water comes from Farmer Jed's pond. Look! Uh-oh, I just remembered. I left the water running back home. That's a good thing to remember. Come on, Freddy. We got to get back home quick. Rev up your engine, Clanky. Let's go, go, go. Good going, Eddie. It's great to use only what you need so that everyone else has enough. Freddy, do you think we need all this water? What if we keep one swimming pool and share the rest of the water with everyone else? I like that idea. Take only what you need and leave the rest for others. Only what you need. And leave the rest for others. Take only what you need. And leave the rest for others. We all will have enough. Thank you. You're welcome, Farmer Jack. Take only what you need. Only what you and need. leave the rest for others. Only what you only need. What you and need. leave the rest for others. Take only what you need. Only what you and need. leave the rest for others. We all will have enough. And we all will have enough. Thanks to Recycler Rick, Eddie and Freddie learn to take just what they need and share the rest with everyone else. Discovering Michael, clever as can be. He loves to make things magically. 
disturbing Michael and you and me. The big box of make believe. This is the story of what happened one day when Eddie, Freddie, and Sarah Lynn didn't have anything to do. I wanted to fly my kite. I wanted to go swimming. Hey, let's call Michael to see what he's doing. I don't know what I'm going to do, Eddie. I might go flying in outer space. I might explore the bottom of the sea. I haven't decided yet. Hey, why don't you come over? You can help me decide where to go. We're on our way! But how can we go anywhere in this? It's just a cardboard box. Not just any cardboard box. Baker Bob gave it to me. He was going to throw it away, but we're going to reuse it. We're going to pretend it's a spaceship. And a submarine! What's this? The steering wheel. I made it out of a paper plate and a cardboard tube. First stop, outer space. Ready? Close the hatch. Start the engines! Mm, where did I put that start button? There it is! Wow! Powerful engines! The power of imagination! Three, two, one, blast off! I thought it'd be fun to pretend the rain had stopped and we were seeing a rainbow. That's some pretty good make-believing, Michael. Wow! That's not make-believe. Michael showed his friends that instead of throwing something away, you can have fun with it, with a little imagination. Discovering Maggie, who loves to lead and tries to do so thoughtfully. Discovering Maggie, and you and me. How does your garden grow? It's spring, and all over town, people are planting things and seeing them grow. Sonia Lee's flowers are bursting into bloom. 
Michael's flowers are reaching for the sun. Everyone's plants are growing big and beautiful. All except for Maggie's. There, there, little guy. It's going to be okay. I hope. I know. Maybe you're so small because you need water. Maybe you need a little more? Maybe a lot more. Lack a drink of water? My, aren't you getting big? Oh, no need to thank me. Same size you were an hour ago. Oh, no. You were the same size an hour before that. And an hour before that. And the hour before that, and, and all the way back to yesterday morning. Oh, why won't you grow like everyone else's flowers? Maggie, it is growing. And it isn't a flower. It's a tree, like those. A tree? But trees are big. This little thing is little. Everything that grows starts off little. It grows up to be its own right size in its own good time. But what size and how much time? Well, that's the neat thing about growing up. You don't know. It's like a surprise. You just gotta wait and see what happens. But now this little guy, don't wanna spoil the surprise for you, but I have a pretty good idea how he's gonna turn out. Come on, I'll show you. Now those are big. That one's the biggest of all. Wow! But there was a time when it was the same size as yours. Really? Yep. I planted it a long time ago. A little bit at a time, it grew... and it grew... and it grew... and it grew. And just look at it now. Wow! How did it grow so big? All it took was plenty of sunshine, plenty of water, and lots of love. And of course, time. How much time? All the time it needed. That's a perfect spot, Maggie. Thanks, Farmer Jed. It'll have plenty of sun, plenty of water, and I'll give it lots of love. And all the time it needs. See you later, little tree. Maggie learned from Farmer Jed that with love, living things will grow all in their own time. Discovering morning, discovering sun, discovering there's room for everyone. Discovering horses and giraffes too. Discovering me and discovering you. We're people with great big plans little people we've got helping hands little people we come from one to ten little people and we'll always be friends discovering michael and his friend maggie discovering lion and sonja lee Discovering Sarah and her twin, Eddie. Discovering you and discovering me. Discovering you and 
ですか